Hey guys, Mechanic CG here. Before this video starts, I want to let you guys know that this video does contain a lot of swearing, a lot of aggression, a lot of violence. So if you are under the age of 13, please click away now because this video is not for you. Um, viewers discretion is advised from this point onwards. Hey guys, Mechanic CG here and welcome back to another episode of Grand Theft Auto 5. Today is episode number three and we are carrying on where we left off. We've got a Michael mission over here that we have to complete. Um, I am feeling a little bit uh, under the weather today, but that shouldn't be too much of a problem based on the fact that this game is so amazing that I couldn't really care. Um, I don't, I don't really like GTA Online that much. I don't know why, but the story of GTA is so good. Um, so. I really, really needed to come back and play this because it is one of those games that you need to play more than once. Um, I think so far I've played halfway through the game, then I completed the game about three years ago, and now I'm going to go through and complete the entire game again. So, this is. I'm really excited for this. Like, you can't tell the excitement in my voice right now because I am a little bit ill. Um, but yeah, I'm really excited. Come on, stop crashing. Didn't realize Michael's house was this far away. What's up, homie? Hey, look, Chop got to stay around your crib for a while, homie. That's cool? Yeah, man, it's cool. Shit's the best place for him anyway. <laughs> like it ain't nobody out there gunning for your black ass. Bullshit, nigga. Just take care of it, man, all right? All right, I got you, dog. Right, we're taking care of Chop now. Right, here we go. Let's go in. Oh god, it's this mission. Hey, you! What's up, man? Get out of my way. Michael, calm down. What the fuck is going on? Nothing happened. It was a misunderstanding. She fucked up brick in my bed. <laughs> me. It wasn't like that. You in? Fuck it. I'm in. Let's roll. Let's get this motherfucker. Just don't kill him! <laughs> Follow the tennis coach. Okay, homie? What happened? The guy bounced my wife is what happened. Which guy? The guy I'm paying to teach her tennis. Tennis coach? Oh, that's fucked up, man. Who is dudes, homie? You know, back in the hood, bullshit. You know, back in the hood, man, we gotta watch out for the mailman, dog. Yeah, I'm a cuckold, a snob, and a fucking cliche. Whoa. Come on. We gotta catch up with this prick. Fuck, man, I think we lost his ass. Well, we definitely Give him lost somewhere his up ass. The canyon. We'll find him. How you catch him? It wasn't hard. They were in my house, in my own bed, on top of each other. Man, this dude got some explaining to do. The whole thing was <laughs> yes. kind of self-explanatory, Frank. And what we're about to do won't need much context either. Shit, let's go coast the shit out this motherfucker. Hey, he in one of these fucking houses. That's his car, right there. Little prick's up there, look. Oh, shit, Coast doing all right for himself. Hey, asshole! You ran off before we could settle our debts! Michael, fuck! You got the wrong idea, man! He's about to have a real clear idea where I'm coming from. <laughs> There's a winch in the back of the truck. Tied a cable to one of those supports up there. You finna pull his deck down? Hey, that prick pulled my marriage down. Man, you really gonna be this fucking dramatic? Yeah, whatever. I told you I comped the session, bud! Well, there were a lot of freaking sessions, bud! I'm thinking you were working on more than just her backhand. Mandy's backhand has come a long way, bro. 
But sometimes it's gotta get worse to get better. Yeah, well, maybe I should come up there and practice my backhand. On your face! Oh, bud, your negative energy is seriously bringing me down. Oh, I hope it is, bud. We hooked up, man. You come into my house, take my money, and nail my wife? Are you fucking kidding me? I'm gonna stick up my hand and say that was uncool, bud. My bad. Seriously. Oh, how fucking magnanimous. May I please offer you my applause? You fucking motherfucker! Dude! And we'll see how you like it when someone fucks with your shit! Well, hey! Wait! <laughs> you got the wrong idea, pal! Whoa! Fuck! Here we Let's go! go. <laughs> Let's see what happens! Dude, you are probably crazy! <laughs> oh, shit! You see this shit, dog? Boom! Give me some! Time to bring it all crashing down! Man, I think that shit's coming down, man. Do it, man. Fucking do it. Are you fucking serious, nigga? Yeah! Fuck, come on! Fuck, man, fuck! Oh, we did it! Fuck his ass! Yeah, fuck <laughs> him! But was we really trying to pull that dude house off the fucking hill? Hey, we were trying to teach him a fucking lesson. Now that's an expensive bitch-ass lesson, man. Maybe he'll keep it on the court and out of my wife. <laughs> yeah, he not taking no housewives back to that motherfucker. Hey, it's a service to the fucking community. And this is where it all goes wrong. Mr. DeSanta, what the hell? That's not my house! Bullshit. Oh, bro, I couldn't afford a place like that. I'm a tennis coach. I hit balls for a living. I was just hiding there. Give me a phone. You! You're a dead one! Green light! Green light! Martin Madrazo, give you green light! Oh, I'm scared, lady. Just fucking terrified. <laughs> oh, dear. We got some heavies on this, home. We got Whoa, some more fucking right, fuckers. Help me deal with this. I'll try, man. Come on. Ah! Go. Shit, man. Get rid of them. Hey, let's go. Let's leave them behind. Where are we on this? There you go. Come on. Push the pedal, man. We gotta move. Can you see him? Are they still back there? Pop that dude. I got one. Got one. We got a book, man. Go. All right, we managed to lose him. Right. Be careful. This is misunderstanding, motherfucker. Hey, the essays is book. All right, let's go back home. Wow. Oh, shit. Wow. You did good. I mean, your aim's all over the place, but you were a help. Ah, uh, thanks. I guess. <laughs> hey, don't get the fence. Go to a shooting range. Work on. Your... Work on your aim. You'll do fine. Oh, fuck, man. Shit, you good? Fine as wine. Got a few knocks. You okay? I mean, you did good, kid. Man, I'm cool, man. I mean, you. Mentally. Mentally? Oh, man. I'm fucking ex. Hey. I haven't <laughs> up like that in years. Oh, yes. Fucking A, Bubba. Man, you sound kind of man. You just been greenlit by the Mexican underworld ambassador to Los Santos. Trust me. We handled it. Wherever the fuck Martin Madrazo is. I've known worse. We just handled a few low-ranking crimes. We sit on it, we see what happens. Kid, there's no use second-guessing. Felt good, man. Woo! Yeah! Doing something for a change. Yeah! Get in! Whew. Hey, thanks for the help out there today, kid. I had no idea it was gonna get that hot. Shit, pulling houses off the hillside? Show has a weird way of fucking with people. Yeah, well, I thought I was through with all that shit. I don't know what the hell's going on. Oh shit, I think we're about to find out. 
Do you know who I am? Do you know who I am? Do you? No. Do you? You? I think so. Good. I know who you are. I know where you live. Who are you? I'm Franklin. License. Now, Franklin. Maybe help Mr. DeSanta here. Who am I? I think Martin Madrazo. Good boy. Now maybe give him a little of a background. Man, Mr. Madrazo. Mr. Madrazo is a legitimate businessman who was wrongfully accused of running a Mexican American gang and a narcotic ring. Drug but the dealer. Were dropped because of the witnesses Drug came dealer. up. Missing. Smart kid. Now, Michael. Got a question for you. What did you prove an architectural, significant, modernist wonder home down the hillside in Vinewood Hills? I thought the owner was banging my wife. Well, that was a strange house for a tennis coach. <sighs> I wasn't thinking straight. Mm, clearly. Yeah. <sighs> well, Natalia will need a hotel. While you finance the rebuilds, won't she? Sure. Good. And I'm guessing here that it, the rebuild uh, will be somewhere in the 2.5 million range? <laughs> of course. Great. That's nice. Come on, man. Damn, you all right? Never better. So what now? Looks like I'm gonna have to postpone my retirement. Fuck. Ah, oh, man, I'm mortgaged up to my eyeballs. Look, I only know one way to make money. I'm gonna have to give an old friend a call. Lester. Lester the Molester. I think he's in town somewhere. I'm gonna have to track him down. <laughs> yeah. Let's go. All right, all right dog. Peace out. Mission passed. Marriage counselling. That definitely was not a counselling. Counselling. Hello. Is this still the number for Lester Crest? Who's asking? Who's asking? Who's asking? You're awful cagey. <laughs> <laughs> Even for a dead man, Michael. Ooh, you don't sound good, buddy. <laughs> Tactful and charming, even in death. Hey, come see me, old friend. I'm living in Los Santos, just like you. Marietta Heights. Whoa, whoa, wait. Hey, how do you... Hello? You fucker. Haha. <laughs> Alright, so we have a new mission for Michael. And we also have a Lester mission. So I'm gonna go head to Leicester, say hello to an old buddy. Where did I put my phone as well? I left my phone somewhere, I can't find it. Ah! Where is it? Ah. Oh well. Uh, right, so we are heading over towards here now. To meet up with Lester the Molester. Doc, hey. Michael, well, I'm looking through my appointment book and I don't see your name. Yeah, well, I'm more of a walk-in guy, Doc. You know that. Walk-ins are more expensive, but I'm always happy to accommodate. Sure, you'll accommodate me as long as I got money in my pocket, right? Hey, I'm in a bad way, Doc. I might come by soon. Right, so we've also got counselling that we need to do as well, so um, we'll probably go do that after we've spoken to Lester. Um, but yeah. I want to hit this guy off his bike. Yes. Haha. <laughs> this way. We need to upgrade Michael's car so it's nice and powerful.
Whoa, 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 whoa. That was close to my asshole. Too soon to bring up tennis. Assume I'm not getting another coach anytime soon, so need someone to play with. Hmm. No. Not a chance. Right, which one's Lester's house? Is it this one? Yes. Right, Lester. The molester. Let's go and have a bit of a word. Fuck you, Lester. Lester. You gonna let me in or what? I was wondering when you'd show up. I was dead. Praise be. Guess you weren't very dead. You <laughs> need my help. How do you know? Because you came here. Why else would you? <clears throat> I haven't been a good friend for you, Lester. I know that. And you're going to make it up to me by doing whatever I ask. Or rather, I, I mean, I need something done. You need to know something, so why not help each other? I gotta make some dough. So you're back in the game? I guess. Look, Lester, about what happened before. Oh, I know you never mentioned my name. I know I'm not on any lists anywhere. I know you never betrayed me. As for you, you gotta figure that I never told anyone. That instead of gently decomposing in North Yankton, you're angrily decomposing in Los Santos with a shrink and a wife who don't love you no more. Yeah. Yeah, well, <laughs> since you put it like that... Hey, shut up a minute. I'm getting an eye find alert. That little college boy sack of shit phony fuck. Who? <laughs> Jay Norris? Yes. That fuck is a lying bastard. I've read his fucking emails. He's a fucking cheat. Uh, I heard him say that he saved America. What, by, by outsourcing all the jobs? By selling us little bits of plastic restricted access shit? Well, now it's payback time, you lying turd. The hell are you talking about? You are about to get that white-collar gig that you always dreamed of, Mikey. Here, take this uh, fashionably retro weird for a 45-year-old man, but I cannot let go of the 1980s bag, and dress yourself up like a billionaire math genius with low-level Asperger's. You better be ready for the minor glitch of your repulsive pseudo-messianic life. Okay, Lester. Get out of here! Call me when you're ready. We are about to put the Darwinism back in social Darwinism. And brother, it is gonna be fun. You fucking kidding me? I'm a bank robber, not a web designer. So we'll go robbing soon. Uh, I'll find something. Just like the old days. <coughs> well, Lester's not in good shape. Right, let's jump in our car. We need to head towards the suburban store or something. Urban clothing, something, I don't know. And get ourselves outfitted with young clothes. Get in with the kids, kind of thing. I sound old saying that. <laughs> I actually do. Meow. Meow. Hey, you selfish prick. You fucking prick. Come on, this car definitely needs some speedy upgrades put onto it. Why is it that all the cars in GTA, even if they're like the fastest cars in the game, can only hit like 120 miles an hour? Rockstar, you need to fix it for the next game. Make cars actually go like 200 miles an hour. Right, let's go in. Ah, excuse me. I got this interview at this tech company. 
thinking I need something, I don't know, geeky, youthful. Lost your job and the world's moved on, huh? That's too bad. I didn't lose my job. Of course. Got too old, got outsourced. Same thing happened to my dad. Now you gotta fit in with a different generation. Huh? What about a vest and some cargo shorts? All right. Hmm. Yup, that's as youthful as you're gonna get. <laughs> yep, let's go for that. Oh, do we need the cargo shorts as well? He doesn't look very Didn't happy with that. Side? I think that might just work. Good luck at the interview. Why, Goodbye. thank you. He runs weird when he's got those cargo shorts on. Right, let's go. Life Invader offices, here we come. Michael? I'm all dressed up. Now, you want to run me through this thing? The prototype is somewhere in the Life Invader office. Find it and fit it with the device in your bag. They just gonna let me in? Why wouldn't they if you look the part? Hang around till someone opens the door and act entitled. Fine. Fair enough. Meow. Meow. Skr ah! You do the donut. You do a donut. Right, Life Invader offices, here we come. Oh yeah. Now that is how you park. He walks really weird. Hey. Hey. Oh, great. Uh, PM's pushing for more functionality. <laughs> but we are maxed. I mean, if anything, we have to strip features, especially if we plan on releasing a fully yeah. priced update a year later. Oh, my. You know, it's... Yeah, well, you know, you gotta do what you gotta do, you know? I mean, we're talking beta in Q4, maybe Q3. Look, milestones are one thing, but when design is changing its mind yeah. seemingly overnight, there's not much you can do about it. You Look, know what I'm saying? Uh, my union allocated smoke breaks about up, so... Wait a minute. Do I know you... Yeah, I think so. I, I, I tea temp, right? Yeah. You know, you gotta do something for me. Ah, uh, you gotta put it in a ticket. Ah, uh, no. I'd like to keep this one out of the database, if you know what I mean. Oh, it's this mission. Right. Time to get copy strike. <laughs> Time to get channel deleted. Tech evangelist when the big boy's best. Maybe not even tech. I'll evangelize anything. Oh, we're going up here. Chill out on the beanbag. Marcus will be right out. Oh, um, I'm gonna take a normal chair. I have a terrible back. Hmm, yes. Here you go. If you guys let me use the OS I requested, this wouldn't be a problem. This is a filthy hard drive, bro. Uh, got any antivirus software? I think so. Behind this junk on the left. Clicked an NSFW link, bro. Bit me on the ass. Yeah, not safe for work, huh? You know, my son's computer runs ah! into the same kind of problems. I'll close the pop-ups. Go! See what I can do. Away! Your son codes? Go! Early, bro. Away! You let your best stuff in your tweens. There it goes. Be gone! Be gone! My glitch fixing is gonna be way down today. Be gone. Exterminate. My son probably wrote this. That little shitbag. And that Goodbye. should Goodbye. Why don't you try and keep things strictly safe for work from now on? Hey, have you seen the prototype in the demo room? When Norris announces it at the keynote, minds are gonna blow. Yes, they are. Yeah, they are. <laughs> Oh, 
Right, time to rig the prototype. Why are we leaving the bag? I thought Lester liked that bag. Dude, when it blue screens again, what? you're my guy. Bye. What is going on in there? Sit, 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 sit. Foot bag, dig back. Ow. Whoa, he got. You have to learn the foot bag if you want to get a job here, okay? Follow me. Okay. Oh. What on earth? I drank my effing hemp milk. There was a totally non-passive aggressive note on it. If I drown in mucus, it's your fault, you illiterate effing thieves. <laughs> Whoa, she's pissed. Right, here we go. We're out. Right, we need to watch the keynote at our house now. Hold on, hold on. Down! I downed ya! Lester, yeah. the thing's in the Playing prototype. Playing I see. I'm going home to watch the keynote. Teabag time, my friend! Lester, did you hear me? Are you playing that game? Yeah, yeah, sorry. The phone is rigged. Hey, what's your problem? You don't like shooters? They're all the same. Besides, you know me. I'm a movie guy. Classic Vinewood. Classic Vinewood ended 30 years ago. Now it's just superheroes, romantic comedies, and remakes, none of which interest me. Hey, I believe this country can still make interesting movies. There's no better way to define American life than a two-hour plot in which the hero looks good and defeats evil. Now, ah, whatever you say, enjoy yesterday. <laughs> anyway, just call the device after he's unveiled it, and then we'll talk. Okay, less than the molester. No! I'm watching Famer Shame! Not fucking tits! Give it up! You guys are going to the finals. Mind's on fire. Woo! What a talent! I have never seen someone set fire to their crotch before. Fantastic! What the fuck? In America. You all disgust me! America loves you. You are in the finals. Oh my days, that is... Ladies no. Please welcome Mr. J. Norris to the stage. Hey. This company has come a long way since we started it in my parents' pool house in East Carroll. Today, you're about to witness a new phase. Full-on, weapons-grade, red alert, world domination. Yep. We have put a billion people's private data in the public domain, and we have milked every penny we could in the process. And we have one of the youngest workforces in the world. An average age of only 14.4 years? That's not just impressive, it's revolutionary! <laughs> That would be enough to get you shut Today, down. Right here. We are about to make the next step. Prepare to witness the future. <laughs> the future. The Life Invader mobile device. Yes, we've invented something no one else. Right, let's ring him. A small personal. Oh, hold on a second. I think someone's trying to talk with me. Hello? Oh! Get ah. security! Oh, Jesus! Whoa! No, 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 Let's... no, 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 Whoa! Whoa! We witnessed some shit. Holy shit! Shit balls. Right, um, before we finish this episode, I want to go and speak to uh, the doctor. Ha <laughs> ha! 
Last. That was heavy. You what? Um. Where is he? Over here. Watching the news? I don't have to. I'm watching the markets. I'll be trading pure alpha till close. All right. Hey, about that other thing. You know the score. Oh yeah, yeah, absolutely. Let's do it. Put on a suit, look somewhat professional, and meet me at my warehouse off the LS freeway. Oh, uh, and I'm about to email you a link for the exchange. You can put in some trades of your own. I'm trying to stay off the day trade. Uh, but maybe I'll take a look. Hmm. I move. Right, we are here at the doctors. Let's go and have a word with him. Come in, Michael. Uh, yeah, thanks, Doc. How have you been? Oh, good. Things been good. No, actually, things ain't been good. Things been a far fucking way from good. I've been uh, acting out. That's what you would call it, I think, right? Acting out. So what exactly has been the problem? I'm not good, Doc. Not good at all. I'm sorry to hear that. Tell me. I just... I've been caught up in the bullshit, Doc. You know... Ever since I pulled this Mexican's house off a hill, it's been nothing but killing and robbing. And I hooked up with this old associate. I even got a new one, too. This kid. Uh, with, I don't know, he's got similar proclivities. Uh, you know. Oh, God. Now everything's out of control. I mean, and if it's not by choice, you know, I, I just... My life just got away from me. That sounds a lot like denial, Michael. This is really worrying. So... Any other violent urges, friend? Yeah. <clears throat> Even on the way over here, I think I killed someone. And you know what? I don't care. I'm sick, Doc. I'm a sick, hypocritical fuck. I agree. Which is why you should really bulk buy a batch of sessions. I really just want to be happy, Doc. Is that so bad? Okay. And what about your sexual behaviors? I've been a really good boy, Doc. Really good. Not one problem. I'm glad to hear that. Really glad. Keep working it. Huh? This is great. I just ain't myself right now, Doc. Not since my life went crazy. You're plainly addicted to chaos. Well, I'm not sure that's true, Doc. <laughs> I'm not exactly enjoying myself here. Now, what I'm addicted to is not getting killed. But for some reason, I keep getting my ass into situations where getting killed is a little hard to avoid. What about the people you kill? Well, yeah, but that's not for fun. Are you sure? What exactly are you asking, Doc? Am I a psychopath who enjoys suffering? Or a sociopath who doesn't give a flying fuck about the rules? Come on, we've already had this conversation, right? I'm neither. I'm just a fat, washed-up jock who can't get his head around the fact that his high school football career didn't play out the way that he planned. The only way I'm content and, and competent is with a gun in my hand or a price on my head. You're very defensive, Michael. Do you consider yourself a failure? I pay you to listen to my problems. I'm rich. I'm miserable. Half the time, my kids can't stand me. The other half, my wife is cheating on me. I kill people without remorse, Doc. I'm pretty average for this town. And that's the shot. I think I'm having a breakthrough here, Doc. This, I think, no, no, I know that I'm just terrified that I'm Sure you are, but that's really all we have time for. <sighs> See you next time. Okay. Hmm. He seems a bit of a knob. I'm stealing his car. Five hundred dollars per session. Jesus, 
He's making money. But he's going to be losing it once I steal his car. Hey! Yeah, this is quick though. Right, so that is going to do it for today's episode. If you guys did enjoy, be sure to leave a like. Comment down below and subscribe if you want to help support the channel. Hit the join button. And I will see you in the next one. Bye, fuckers.